and welcome back to my channel. I'm Virginia and the craft for today is leatherwork. Hmm? In my previous video I made this fake under dress here hmm? and at the end of the sewing process I finally started using a thimble. <laughs> and then I realized why I hate my thimble. This is the one and it's just horrible. It's too small for my thumb it's cracked because it's too small and it's plastic. We don't like plastic, at least not in reenactment. <laughs> so I decided I'm going to make my own thimble with leather. <laughs> this video is inspired by Bernadette Banner. She made her own leather thimble and she uses it a lot for sewing. And I decided to make a version of her thimble and also another version that may or may not work better but we'll just have to see so if that sounds interesting stick around and i will see you for the first step <laughs> so the material i'm going to be using is uh, seal skin uh, we have loads of it lying around in the viking village so i might as well use it and it's very easy to work with uh, my plan is to make three different models one based on Bernadette Banner's video, which is basically one patch of sealskin or leather or whatever. Another patch sewn together on the sides using whip stitch. So that's the basic one. My second model will be a version of that thimble. Instead of using whip stitch, I want to use back stitch because I think it will create a stronger seam. So... I don't know. And my third version is basically to make a thimble that only has one seam on the back of the finger. I think that way um, it's less prone to wear and tear. I don't know how to put it. Because I think if you have a seam all the way around, uh, just the use of the thimble will make it break. Whereas if you have only one seam on the back of the finger, it won't wear out as fast. So I will try to see if my theory is correct or absolutely wrong. <laughs> um, so yeah, basically my goal is to make all these different models and come up with the ultimate thimble. So uh, you know which one works better. <laughs> I'm not based on any replicas or anything. This is just inspired by Bernadette's video and my own ideas on what could or could not work. So I will take the leather and start cutting some pieces out of it. And I'll be back. So I've cut some pieces for the two basic uh, thimbles. I've also cut a strip that I tapered to make the brand new original thimble and whatnot. So I think it's time to start punching some holes. So these little guys here are done and ready to be stitched. Okay, thimble one is finished, and now on to the second version of this kind. Okay, now on to the second thimble, and I am not sure exactly what the name of the stitch I'm going to be using is. I think it's backstitch, but don't take my word on that. Um, basically, it's going one way with kind of like a running stitch and then back. That's why I think it's backstitch. But uh, anyway, I've used it for sewing my scabbard for my knife and it's a very strong seam so I think that it could work perfectly for what I'm gonna do now. <laughs> okay, let's start working.
I secured the end and now I'm going back again on the other side. So before I've gone this way and come out on this side and now I'm going this way in and go out on that side. So now maybe here you can see the effect it's creating here. I always finish going out of the side this way so it's a little bit safer. And thimble number two is done. Woohoo! Let's try it on. I uh, might cut a little bit of the seam because it seems too bulky to work with it anyway, but we'll see. That is thimble number three. Mm -hmm. So that was actually a lot of fun. <laughs> I am very happy that I had seal skin to work with though because it is so easy to work with seal skin even if you don't have a lot of experience with leather work I think uh, this kind of material will be very easy for anybody basically. Hmm. So that was good. Hmm. Now, I wanted to share my impressions of the three thimbles without using them, just my first impressions right after making them. My least favorite one is the second version, which is the one with the back stitch. I think the seam is too bulky and it's gonna be a bit difficult to work with it. I don't think that is going to be good necessarily. Hmm? Uh, second place goes to the first um, thimble. I think it's very nice to put on, take off, it fits very well and I think it's gonna be very nice to use it. But I still have my doubts when it comes to the seams. I think they're gonna rip apart quite easily. Uh, but definitely my favorite one right off the bat is um, the third one. The brand new original thimble so to speak i think first of all it adapts extremely well to the finger i think the seam is going to be way safer this way and it's not bulky at all so i really want to try and work with this one so of course this is first impressions without using them i don't know what i'm going to encounter so i might be wrong about the thimbles. So I'm gonna be working with all of them. Right now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna be in a sewing spree when I think I've used them enough and I get an, an accurate idea of how they really are. I will share my opinions with you. I think I'm gonna have um, a lot to do now. <laughs> so anyway, uh, this was a very short video but I hope it was interesting and maybe it gets you thinking, okay, which uh, thimble is the best, which one or not. Uh, leave me your ideas in the comments down below. Um, and if you want to make some, go ahead, try them. Let me see what's your opinion of the different thimbles and whatnot. Um, of course, like, share, subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you get notified every time I post a video. Follow me on Instagram too, at Virsama. So uh, you get updates on my projects and you see what my life actually is. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and now I need to start working, sew, embroidery, whatever. 
anything that I can use the thimble for. <laughs> and I will see you on the next video. In the meantime, I will be here crafting. Definitely. <laughs> see ya.